So you want to learn how to spice up your boring music videos from something like this into something crazy like this within just a few clicks. And I'm not even exaggerating, it's really that easy. Well, I'm about to break down my technique inside of this tutorial to help you guys save time when you're editing your music videos or just editing in general. But real quick before getting to it, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm Lurking Visuals and I run my own editing store where we sell editing presets and assets for video editors just like you. And if you're watching this around New Year's, then I'm actually running a huge BOGO sale, which means buy one, get one free. So if you're a video editor trying to save time and save money, then check the first link in the description, but let's get right into it. So I'm already kind of prepared right here. I got this DDG and Playboy Max music video. I got my adjustment layers ready and I also rotoscoped out this scene so I'm ready to just add my effects on but for you guys that don't know how to create a, an adjustment layer all you need to do is just right click go to new and create a new adjustment layer then I just cut them up for the few different parts but first off you can tell that I got this adjustment layer right here so what I'll be doing to that one is heading up to the top right here and go under animation presets and under user presets I'll open up my ultimate VFX kit which is my new preset pack that actually dropped yesterday and within this kit I have 55 different assets with over 40 presets and some extra overlays and sound effects that goes very well with these presets and inside this pack is honestly everything that I use to edit my music videos like you don't need much else than this just to create an all around music video like it has some shakes, some wiggles, some rotoscope effects, some background effects, some stylized effect and I'll be showing it off inside of this tutorial so the first effect that I'll be adding on is this simple vertical shake and I'll just drag it onto the adjustment layer right here so we can start off with something basic for the first scene right here so just that shake going on and for the background layer I'll be dragging on this best distort transition since it's a transition, all I will do is just line up the keyframes correctly, something like this. And then I'll copy the ending right here and paste it over to the next clip over here. That way we will have a clean transition going on. If I play through and just turn on the motion blur real quick, you can see that we got this really clean transition over here. The only part that I don't like is the fact that the subject is maxed out. So it's still in the frame. So to get this out of the frame, all I will do is create, create a position keyframe and drag it back a few frames like two thirds into the clip and then go to the last frame over here and then just move him out of the frame that way we will have a clean transition and then right click on position and press separate dimensions now we'll easy ease my keyframes pressing f9 and turn on motion blur and now i'll be using this value graph to create something like this just to make sure that it goes slow in the beginning and then speeds up when it's supposed to go out of frame that way we'll have a cleaner transition and the glow is also a little bit too much for this clip so I'll drag it down a little bit to something like this and over here I'll drag on this low shutter preset and right before that one comes in I want to have some flash come in just to make sure just to make sure that it comes in really clean so I'll create a new solid and use a white one and then I'll cut it up in a few different parts like this let's just do two frames and then I'll separate them one of them over here and then the other one over here that way I'll have a little flash going on before this before the low shutter effect comes in and now I just turn down the opacity of them the first one to 30 second one to 60 and I can actually create one last one and have that at 80 something like this and now I'll have a tiny flash going on and then we will have this low shutter effect and for this scene right here you can tell that we got this kind of CRT look and I actually have this CRT TV effect over here so I'll just drag it on to the top adjustment layer and now and now we got this going on and under that one I want to drag on this splash shake so we can have a transition between these two clips I'll actually use this warp puddle and just drag it onto that adjustment layer then again don't forget to turn on motion blur for your adjustment layer especially when you have a lot of movement in the effect now this is what we got and I mean just a clean transition nothing too much and for this next scene right here, I want to use this OPF Flicker one. And this one is actually pretty intense. So if you want to go for something that's a little more subtle, I would recommend the OPF Flicker two. But for this one, I'll just drag it on. And I think it will look pretty good for this scene. And it looks like this. And I mean, like I said, it's a little bit heavy. You can mess with the effects and turn them down if you'd like to, but I'll keep it like that. And for this next scene, I've rotoscoped out my subject right here. You can tell if I hide the background layer, it's rotoscoped out. And I'll use this Dream LSD background. And it looks like this. And I mean, it's it's really clean. I'm a big fan of this one. 
and you can fuck around mess with it get something even crazier if you tweak the settings or mix it with some other presets and that's actually what i'll be doing for this last one i'll be mixing two wiggles together and see what i get so i got this glowy wiggle right here and i'll just drag it on to my bass clip and i'll just keep this one like this i won't mess with the settings at all for the adjustment layer that i got right here i'll be dragging on this wiggle clean one just drag it onto the adjustment layer make sure to have your motion blur turned on when you use this one and this is what i got from doing that and i mean it looks crazy i'm a big fan of that one and if you watch this far then i actually think that this pack is something that you will really find helpful and the link to it will be in the description as i said but thank you so much for watching and if you'd like me to break down some of the effects make sure to leave a comment and i'll do that but thank you so much for watching leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one